Oh, hello everyone. Finally, my first update for November. And it's a reason I haven't filmed updates. First of all, I was really busy. Second of all, I fucked up my ankle by working out. So my ankle, it was... It's still swollen, okay? I'm still in pain, but I just bring you this look, which is red color and brown color. It's really nicely. Um, I just did a simple cat eye in this video. It's not in this clip, but you can work with a little small cat eye. This one is perfect. It's really nice and easy because it had like a market tip. This one's the one that I use for my Halloween tutorials. This one is eyeliner, and it is from Wet n Wild Pro Line Wet n Wild. Um eyeliner which is like this that's for I use for this little small cat eyes and I use this eyeshadows from clean color especially this red and gel watch color with brown in it it's really nicely and I did my contour my blush and everything is nice I will show you how my fit is looking probably you will want to see so I, you know that I'm not lying to you So yeah, this is how it looks. It's freaking swollen. This is how it looks, guys. Uh, it's fucking red. It's looking before. That's how my foot is looking right now. Just because I forgot out by doing workout. But it is okay. It will be okay. Oh, guys. Let's see how it looks. You can use your standing spray to finish off. And put your mascara right, and all is good. This is the final look. Look how amazing it looks. And I hope you enjoyed this new updates, new videos coming soon. So please, if you want to get this look so bright and so pigmented, and you want to know how to make your shadow spot and be some pigmented. Just keep on watching this video. As usual, the book's over for this makeup tutorial. I just started with, you know, my face covering foundation and powder. And I'm just priming my eyes to, so this is what's gonna make the shadows very thin and thin. So I'm priming my eyes. I just use a basic concealer, nothing special. This will do the job as a um, eyeshadow primer. I probably have eyeshadow primers in my collection, but when I use the product, I use it. I mean, I use it pretty much. So I've been using this concealer and stuff. I don't think I shared with you in this in my Thor favorites, but this, basically, this one's gonna be in my November favorites. So I'm just putting this um, red pigment right now in the crease with a brush friendly stuff I'm just gonna apply this brown color this brown color is gonna be in the crease with a crease friendly brush and that's basically what I'm doing this thing came out so pigmented that I have to use another brush to blend it out the best as you can see it's freaking pigmented this is more like a chocolate purple cake yeah more more velvety cake Red velvet cake made out of chocolate, I think. So it's more like a red velvet um cake because we had the most. And right now, this is from the uh, Buff Beauty Makeup Palette from Yesh Cosmetics. Um, I'm not pretty sure what's the name. I'm just gonna find out what the fucking is the name and put it down below. I don't know, but it's a really brown color that is great to fill out your brows. This thing over here is jello and I'm just gonna apply this in the under the brow bone. It's gonna be in my highlight. So my highlight is gonna be a hint of jello under my brow bones and with just my fingers I'm making sure that I'm blending that pretty well. Now with this brush, see is a Kim Blush brush. I'm just gonna try to blend what I already done in my eyes. So I just blend, blend pretty nicely. And as you can see, still looks pigmented. So I'm just gonna blend that area in there. So 
So over here we have this. this is definitely my favorite since so so go check that video out. I love this Cantrain product. This blush product. It has the seller product. So it's great. This little palette is so just three dollars. So I'm just gonna do my work with that. This palette is another favorite of mine from the month of October. It has a nice pumpkin spice blush that I really love. But since I have a lot of going on in my eyes, I'm just gonna wear this pinky blush in my cheeks to give it a little bit of color. For highlights, I'm basically gonna use the highlight that this palette has over here. It's like a white highlight. And I'm gonna blend that in my face just like this. After doing this, I do the same stuff in my other eye. Now I'm just gonna wear the mascara. Um, some other stuff that I did offline, off camera, I must say. To finish the makeup, this makeup is so simple. It's like a makeup really quick. It's like a five minutes makeup. That's how I'm gonna need this video, my title. I did this makeup so quick. And it's the most feminine makeup that you can do. You would think like in five minutes you just can do your foundation and some cat eyeliner and lipstick and that's it. But you can do a lot of things in five minutes because sometimes you just wear like right now I'm just wearing concealer and powder and that's really quick. Um, if you're not wearing foundation, so just the five minutes. Makeup is really quick and really nice. So finalize this makeup. I'm just gonna wear this sleepy's uh nice sleepy, and you can 